Okay guys, trying to clean my cooker first before we start the cooking. So this is just prepping Christmas Eve. Normally if I'm cooking for a lot of people, this is what I also do. I like to get my cook clean first. Like I like clean the kitchen first before I cook. It's just something that I like to do. Okay, so I'm just giving my cooker. I'm still going to clean this cooker after I finish cooking, but I just like it to be clean first before we start cooking. That's the cooker ready to be used. I just want to take my vitamin C. I couldn't take it in the morning. I drink tap water, I drink bottle water, anyone. As long as the water is clean. I'm okay with it. So this is the one I'm taking, this Oland and Barat one. I even order more vitamins, which I order a bit too late, so I won't be getting them until like on the second. Just drop one in the water and wait for it to dissolve. Yeah. So it's the Oland and Barat one with zinc and zinc. That's what I'm taking. For my cold for flu whatever you call it just going to wait for it to dissolve may why let me show you guys my chicken i got more chicken uh, wings but i'm going to i bought this from sainsbury's i put them in the freezer so i know they have expired dates but it's not really expired i put them in the, in the freezer and i just brought them out last night when i was going to walk so they can defrost properly so you guys can see they still look okay so I'm going to wash them thoroughly with salt hot water and I can put them to cook because I need the broth to use to cook my fried rice okay yeah so I'm going to wash them I got the meat I'll show you guys when I washed everything so that the vlog is not necessarily over long my drink is getting ready so I'll wash everything first if I come back and show you guys the season I'm using okay Okay guys, so I've washed, I've been washing my meat. Let me show you. I've washed with salt, wash it, wash it. So I'm just doing the last final washing. This is my beef meat. Okay. So I've done the chicken. I washed them thoroughly cleaned. So this is the meat that I'll be using. This is just to, for the jollof rice. I'm going to like boil it in the pressure cooker and then put it in the season is very well put in the oven okay so that is my washed chicken you guys can see how clean they are that is the chicken wings this chicken wing is nine pounds eight ninety nine that is it's not a lot but it's fine that is the other chicken from Sainsbury's that I've washed got some seasoning which I'm going to be using okay so yeah so that's my beef meat I'm just trying to finish washing it so this is my prepping for my Christmas today is Christmas Eve I've told you guys already that today is Christmas Eve the meat is clean you guys can see how clean it is because I've washed it the salt acts like as if it's a soap can you guys see how the water is? Sorry, I don't want to show you too much. YouTube. It acts like I see if it's a soap. That's how the salt acts. When you put salt in the meat to wash it, it acts like it's sponge and a soap. It foams the water, you see? But I've done it a few times, so it's clean enough now. Oops. Now I'm making a mess. Anyway, so let's chop some onions and season it.
Okay, guys. So I got some of my seasoning here. That's the it's called flavor chicken cube. But I have the non ones, which I'm also thinking of using. I got garlic, ginger, rosemary, curry powder, thyme, salt, chicken seasoning, beef seasoning. I got this smoky barbecue for the chicken wings and I want to also try to my jollof rice. I got my onions chopped. So I got my chicken washed here. I got my beef washed there. So my hands are pretty clean. I'm going to wash them all over again. I'm using one hand to hold camera, one hand to wash. <laughs> so I'm just going to be adding my chicken seasoning first. Let me on my cooker down. On the cooker down so that it will be heating up. So this is my chicken seasoning which I'm going to be adding a bit. Okay, and then you have to like massage it in. I've not had any, any water to this chicken. I've not had any water. I want to add a bit of curry to this chicken because of color. Remember I told you guys I'm going to be using the broth for fried rice. So the same thing I'm going to do with the beef. I'm going to do the same thing. So and I had the all of that. This cube is quite difficult to crush it. The non one is more softer. This particular brand is called Flavor or something like that. It's very difficult to crush. I have to put it in the microwave. The first one I put in the microwave, it got burnt. <laughs> so I have to throw it away and then put another one. So now I'm going to add like my salt rosemary and the rest of them. Jiro, come and help me hold the camera. My daughter is going to help me. Hold the camera for me. Okay, and video what I'm doing down here. So guys, my daughter is going to help me. So this is my salt. Helping me with the camera. Everybody is cooking tonight with me. Add a bit more salt because I'm not using that my tropical um, seasoning, so that's why I'm using quite a bit of salt. So, and then I will have some thyme. I don't want to use spoon. This one is just hard as your spirit lead. <laughs> it's what I'm doing here. How does the spirit lead? So I'm having time. That's chicken seasoning that I added. It has time now, but I'm just adding extra. And then I'm going to add rosemary. Because I'm using one hand. So the rosemary I'm going to sprinkle. The curry is just for color, just so that it will help me to color the rice and color the chicken a bit. So that's the curry. I'm just going to rub everything in and put it to cook and then we can do the beef and the chicken wings as well. So guys, we have had the one for the beef. I'm just going to add some salt. I have extra time. And a bit of rosemary. And then I'll add my garlic and ginger. 
This is garlic. So I have some garlic to the chicken as well because I forgot. I, I mean, that's um, that's ginger, guys, not garlic. This is garlic. I also had some garlic down here. The stock already, I mean, the seasoning powder, the beef seasoning powder. I've already had it, so my battery is going. My battery is low, guys. So, anyway, this is all I do in the night. So, in case my battery cut off, I have to charge it. So, I'm just going to hide my non kill, okay. Okay guys, my camera battery is not much, so I'm going to put some of this barbecue sauce in the chicken wings. Okay, this is my first time of using this barbecue um, seasoning from Costco. I hope it tastes good. And I'm just going to add some garlic and ginger. So you guys can see, I'm not really measuring it, so this is just... It's a home cook. I'm not doing recipe. I'm not doing recipe, guys. So, <laughs> hard as you wish. Just to season, and I'm going to wrap it in um, clean foil and put it in the fridge for tomorrow. It's just me adding salt. And I think I've had my non cube. Okay, and I had just a bit of cooking oil as well. I just want to add everything and then marinate it together, wrap it in clean film, and put it in the fridge for till tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm going to add more of this, but I just quickly want to show you guys when my camera battery goes off. I had just a bit of cooking oil. 